hello once again you are more than welcome to our youtube channel queen rami talks welcome on queen rami talks ladies and gentlemen i'm here with my babe my paragon of human perfection when she walks she shakes the trees and the baboons fall down from the trees <laughs> so let's function at the junction <laughs> Thank you, my love. Um, he is more than welcome. He's getting relaxed on the channel, and that's how we like it. Um, guys, if you're watching us for the very first time, we are the LVMs, the ambassadors of love, <laughs> the, the couple that believes in healthy marriages, believes there is no perfect marriage, but we work upon perfection, just like our salvation. So please do subscribe on our YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell yes, yes yes and of course to our returning subscribers welcome home thank you so much for all the love guys as you saw on the title of the video without any waste of time guys as the ambassadors of love huh? and we are christians huh? <laughs> so should we celebrate valentine's day okay before before my love sorry about that before we can indulge into this conversation the reason why we are having this video is because you know there's an app called facebook guys i'm no longer active on facebook and mind you that's the app where me and my husband met but there's a certain energy man a heavy on facebook a whole lot of things so as i'm still active on facebook on my stories because 400 people will run to your stories but they will never engage into your feed so there's no point of going to the feed, rather feed them on the status for that 24 hours. Anyway, um, I saw this other pastor that I'm following commenting on a certain um, <laughs> on a certain post by another person. Obviously, I did screenshot, but we are not going to name anyone. Um, Queen Rami's channel will respect people and their opinions. Okay, um, so this part, the other person posted that, oh, Valentine is coming. Some of us don't celebrate it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then this pastor said, you are right. There's no need to celebrate it. Valentine's is for demons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the reason of this video. We are going to talk, should or shouldn't Christians celebrate Valentine's Day? What's your take, my love? Uh, for me, I would say... And, sorry, my love. Ding! My husband is also a pastor, mind you. So, we are going to... He's going to be doing a lot of talking on this one. <laughs> okay, let's demystify the myth about celebrating Valentine's. Mm. My belief is that uh, God is love. And therefore, if we are cele celebrating love, we are celebrating God, mm. you know? So, for me, it's not an issue. I mean, if we are doing something good to one another, uh, to have a beautiful atmosphere, you know, where we offer gifts, you know, relationships, you know, there's a lot of strife and what, what but if we have that time of celebrating love, celebrating the goodness, you know, it's a good thing for me. I like so, that. I would say, yeah, we can celebrate Valentine. Because at least it emphasizes mm. love, you know, a good atmosphere, caring for someone, mm. you know what I'm saying? Rekindling that fire okay. in a relationship. I like that. So going to what you have just said, do we only celebrate our partners during Valentine's? Uh, it's, it's, an not a, yeah, it's an ongoing thing. Mm. But what I'm saying, given a chance, you know, yes. Start from there and then continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah, showing love, it must be an everyday thing yeah. to each other. Not yeah. only as women, you know. There are also complaints that a lot of men are having that, ladies, Valentine's is not about you. It's not Mother's Day. It's not your <laughs> birthday. Even men deserve gifts. Mm. And we hardly ever buy them gifts on <laughs> Anyway, um, so when we look at the origin of Valentine's, I think that's where the emphasis is when that pastor said, 
um, it's for demons. It's because of the origin. So, but I believe with all my heart, like my husband has already said, Valentine's is about love, expressing love. Mm -hmm. And as Christians, we are love and we have different kinds of love. And this time it's a love that has to do with partners that is emphasized during this time of the year, you know? Yeah. So, honestly, I think as Christians, we need to avoid being a whole lot of religious, you know? Because if we can check the work of Jesus and his ministry, religious people were the ones who were on his case, stoning him even for, for being a child of God. So we need to, I think shy away from this religious mindset according to me and this is my own opinion which i'm entitled to you know i mean saying um valentine's is for demons is the same as people who say um 25 december jesus was not born it's just a date of celebration and then we will argue with that as Christians and say, no, we have to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Mm -hmm. But we do not have that exact authority that it's the exact date. date yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, but the, the most important thing is to celebrate mm. your commemoration. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the date was chosen. But mm. what is important? The purpose that it serves. I love that. The purpose that it said. So the purpose of Valentine's okay. is love, sharing of love. Awesome. You know, my husband has already said it and it is so profound. We are sharing love among our partners, among, you know what? Mm. That's why we are wearing, I mean, you understand yeah. me? <laughs> yes, guys. So I think religion should sometimes be cut off. Mm. And, and we need to understand that um, our walk with Christ is a very personal thing. Salvation is very personal. Yeah. So for those who don't celebrate Valentine's Day as Christians, that's okay. And then those who celebrate, they are not demons. They are not celebrating any demonic thing. They are just celebrating love. No. And Valentine's has nothing to do with um, having expensive gifts. You know... I know, Simplicity. but we are not saying we want cups. Uh, cups are... <laughs> we no longer get cups. But it, it's just that thing of showing and honoring your partner, you know? Mm. And ladies, I hope you are taking notes. Let's improve. It's not our birthdays. It's not Mother's Day. It's not Female's Day. It's not Women's Day. Hey, even our partners deserve some nice things. Yeah. Yeah, it's a two-way street, you know. <laughs> I agree, my love. Yeah. yeah, no, power. So yeah, I guess, guys, we have emphasized that this video was never meant to be long. We just wanted to rub out this religious mindset. And if you don't celebrate something, stop dem demonizing. Thank you. Ah, mm. You know when the English runs away, the men comes through. <laughs> oh, God. This is what we call the two shall become one. Oh. <laughs> yes, guys. You know, stop calling everything a demon that you do not celebrate or you do not understand. Stand, yeah. Because sometimes as Christians, we are the reason why Christians, other people don't want to come into. Mm. They feel like they need to go and change first before they can come to Christ. Whereas that should never be the case. Mm. You know, there's a song that I love yesterday. So basically what this song is saying, we just came to Jesus. We came as we are. Mm. He never even asked us a lot of questions because he already knew that we are sinners. We have messed up. Yet he accepted us as we are. Yeah. You know, so let us let us get away from this religious mindset of demonizing everything. Sometimes we need to show people love for them to come to Christ. If we are, we are not saying be conformed to the standards of this world, no. But we are saying that people of this world need to see us loving them in order for them to see the God in us. Jesus said, how will they know that you belong to me? And he said, by showing love to one another. To one another. He was not saying show love uh, there on a Sunday service. No, he said show love while you are out there living your normal life. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know True. so we need to stop playing church and being too religious and go out there and show people love and when you, we know how a lot of people feel about christians and showing love yeah and one of the things uh, just to add on um to the content <laughs> my love, is off. that yeah <laughs> is the fact that um you know anyone if you want to win them it's by loving them yes uh, even uh, a person who is sometimes we say a person who is a non-entity mm. or we regard them as a commoner um, but if you show them love you can win them because you know people can notice love yes so love is very powerful is a powerful force it's a universal language in fact that is why even in songs most of the singers they sing about love yes. it's a universal language i love that my mm. love yeah so everyone will understand the language of love. love so and also this is something that allowed us to grow so much on tiktok by receiving so much love is because people can they see that love that we are sharing mm. that god will put certain people in my path to help them mm -hmm. you know so if i were to be religious and say no because you are doing this i can be talking to you i am a child of uh, god how will they even come to us yeah. you know there are so many people who said i see the god in you i see the love that you have for god through the videos that we do just by talking the aura because yeah. we do not um we do not what is the right word? We do not give ourselves out as Christians who have it all together. We understand that we mess up, yet we have a father, mm -hmm. yet we are on a journey yeah. where God is busy working on us, yeah. you know. We are not those Christians who will like, after you've done a tattoo, we need to take off your skin. Hide that thing, you're a sinner. No, no. God is busy searching our hearts. And no, we are not saying go and get tattoos, hey, it's your choice anyway. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I hope you have learned something, some thoughts there and there concerning Valentine's. Obviously, it will go deeper into other topics, but people need to understand that religion does not save anyone. Church does not save anyone. We are saved through the blood of Jesus. We are saved through accepting Jesus as our personal savior. So even if you don't join our church or any church that we go to, just join Jesus. That is the only thing that you need. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, first love yourself. And then after that, that overflow of love, you are able to give to others. Amen. So that's that. Yeah, you can only give what you have. Mm. So firstly, it must brew in you mm. and overflow to mm. others. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> anyway, as we let go of the holier than thou and religious mindsets, let us go on and continue to love people, love others. But do not force yourself into a setup where you see that your love is not received. So, yeah, reciprocated. Yeah, yes, yeah. you pack your bags and run, <laughs> but not in your marriage. Hey? <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. And if you have watched until this far, please do not forget to share our videos. Kindly do subscribe, hit on that notification bell, and just know that the LVMs love you yeah. and the LVMs care about you. And when you see the wife alone, just know that Queen Brami is here and she's here to stay. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> Until we meet uh -huh. again. Oh, ho. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba.